Holy f I love it and hate it. I love it and I hate it. This is remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. <laughs> what? What? Adobe dropped a big announcement today. Their Photoshop public beta has a, a big release, just released with uh, generative fill and uh, is a version 24.6. If you wanna check it out, open your Creative Cloud, go to beta apps and then click on Photoshop beta, uh, install it if you don't have it installed, open it if it's already there. You wanna make sure that you have the latest release so you can do that by uh, when you're on this page, click on updates and then go to check for updates. And then when it does the check, it will let you know uh, if you have the latest release of the public beta app. The, the release today has a lot of generative AI features built in and uh, I've, I've seen a few things that look uh, quite amazing, so I'm gonna take a look for myself, uh, look at some of my photos and, and see how I can uh, apply this to my workflow. And I'm gonna see what it can do. I'm gonna grab this image here. It's really simple. You'll see there is at the bottom here, uh, they call this a contextual taskbar. So if you are doing something, uh, it will show up. If you drag the marquee tool, the taskbar follows that. And uh, you can change that by moving it and then hitting pin bar. I'm fine with it where it is. It's uh, out of the way at the bottom of the image. One of the first things that uh, I want to take a look at is I'm just going to draw a marquee tool. You have to use the marquee tool. And I'm just going to hit generative fill. And I'm going to hit generate. See what happens. Who knows? So it looks like it's sending the image up to the cloud and the, the, the Adobe servers are gonna analyze the image and then send uh, back. Uh, wow. What? Um, okay. All right, so it's given me three options. I can click on these different options. The lighting's a little off, but that's kind of remarkable. So I have uh, in the properties panel, I have a generative layer and uh, I can select the layer in my layers panel. If I want to make a change, I can use the prompt box here. And then I'm just going to say uh, mountains and click generate. It's gonna generate three new options for me. Who knows what we get? <laughs> it's like roll of the dice. If we don't like it, we can regenerate it. Uh, it's that easy. Let's take a look. Okay, we got some weird things happening there. That's pretty, oh my God. Uh, yeah, I'm, first of all, this is amazing. Um, I can, I can instantly see how this would benefit my work, my workflow. Um, but at the same time, I can instantly see how this is going to put some of my friends out of work. I have, I have friends who do, they specialize in composite based uh, portraiture and they, they do all of this work. They, they take the images and they, they composite, they put everything together. And uh, this is, uh, this could easily cost them a great source of their income. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm going to close this image. I'm going to take a look at uh, uh, another image here from a photo shoot I did for a magazine of a Canadian band, Arkells. Bring out the crop tool and let's say I want to make this into a 16 by 9, but I want to fill this out a bit. Just accept the crop on this layer, control all V. Shift, invert my selection, generate fill. I'm just gonna hit generate and it's gonna use the, the, the data that it sees in the image to generate a background for this beyond, beyond the crop. What? What?
Holy f Okay, well, um, this is remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. My, my mind is blown. If you're blown away by what this can do so far, blow me away by tapping the like button and subscribe to this channel. Uh, what I can see is I can see some artifacting here from the layer mask. So I'm gonna see if I come in here to the mask, paint this in, if that'll just, yep, I can just clean that up super quick. And that looks like that's how it was taken. Now you can see here in the feet, you know, it's like it added, added the shoes. If we turn this off, that foot is cut off. If we turn this layer off, this is the original image. That's the full image. That's that's not cropped in. That's that's the entirety of the image. This is what uh, Photoshop has has added. It looks pretty good. I see some things that are wonky. This looks nothing like the room it was shot in. This is this is just absolutely remarkable. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm kind of speechless. Okay. We can probably extend this further, right? Let's see. I'm going to take my ratio off. Let's see what happens uh, here. Grab the marquee, generate, generate. That's pretty, pretty, I mean, none of that's real, but like, that's the image. Oh, whoa. Here I think are, are where like the applications will become a lot more practical for me. So this is an image that I shot at the beach not too far from here. There's a lot of power lines and everything along the beach and, and so you can't get too wide of a shot. So if I wanted to put this on my website as, you know, a, a 16 by 9, I'm going to accept that crop, grab my marquee tool. I can just marquee in here, uh, invert my selection. So now I'm only selecting these two uh, outer sections. Then uh, generate a fill, generate. It's gonna take a look at the image and it's gonna give me some, some options. Oh. Yeah, like all of these, I looking at all of these options. All of these options are 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 great. Like that is that actually looks like the beach too. Okay, I'm I'm blown away. Uh, but I'm also like I'm trying. Like I don't understand. I see the utility for me, but I'm someone who I don't like doing the retouching work. I don't like doing the finishing work or the compositing. Um, for the people who do do this, these are the people who use Photoshop every day. <sighs> like, what you're doing is you're, you're giving me tools that put them out of work. And I don't see how, like, how is Adobe, Adobe has a massive stock business. How does this not affect their stock photographers? This is, is mind-blowing to me. I love it and hate it. I love it and I hate it. I, I love it for me. I hate it for my friends. Ah, I can... I, I can I can see a future this year, not in two years. Like this year, their next major update is is going to make uh, retouching like a click of a button. I'll just be able to like one button, uh, everything will be perfectly retouched. You you'll put retouchers out of business. The uh, compositors like maybe like the high end retouchers will be will be good, will be fine. But people who I know so many wedding photographers and portrait photographers who send their images out, they outsource their images to get to get retouched. They're not gonna have to do that anymore. A lot of these changes, they're not gonna have to send them out to people to 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 hire people to, to do that work. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> Let me know in the comments what, what you think. Do you think this is good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's both? How how are you gonna use this in in your photography? Are you gonna use it in your photography? Do you think this is the end of your career? Let me know what you do, how, how you think this is gonna benefit you. Let me know how you're feeling. Um, yeah, hopefully Adobe sees this. Let them know how you're feeling as well in the comments. And um, 
here, let's take a look at, at some other features. Okay, uh, here's an image I did for the city of Hamilton. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. And this is the art director from the shoot. Very nice woman. But let's say I wanted to remove her from the shot. I can just hit generate, generate again. It's going to send the image up to the cloud. It's going to give me uh, three options. And they're probably all going to be great. What? Gone. Just gone. Like that. Like this is... It's this one gave me that one's not so great. I mean, yeah, this this you can see some weird things. This is this isn't good. There's there's issues in here. You know, not bad. Now, if I wanted to remove this uh, wooden panel up here, just grab my marquee tool, generative fill, generate. It's going to it's going to do it. I know it's going to do it. I know it's going to be amazing. It's going to look great. It's going to give me some options. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Uh, the wire is kind of defying the laws of physics on that first one. That's too many lights and that's a little wonky. I can just generate again and it's going to give me new options. So it's it, it's like content aware fill on stereo. Oh my God, that one's gone. It's gone. That's perfect. That's just, yeah, you would never know. You would never know that there had been something there. Okay, on to the next image. I have this image of my friend Maggie, and I'm going to add the crop tool, drag it out here. Put her here, uh, say okay to that. I'm going to select that section of the image. I'm gonna invert it, and then I'm just going to hit generative fill, allow it to do its work, allow it to do its magic. Okay, the uh, legs are a little wonky. That's not good. That's, I mean, what it's doing from what it's got is phenomenal, but it's not, it's not perfect. I can just imagine where this is gonna be six months from now. I've been following uh, Mid Journey. I'm using Mid Journey. Um, because I, I do think as a photographer, as a commercial photographer, I need to be an image creator first how I create those images, how I come up with those concepts. What my skill is, is is the creative way that I represent concepts. That's what people hire me for. That's what people want me for. Uh, it's Right now I do that with a camera, but however I do that in the future, whether it's uh, with its camera, with a computer, or a combination of both, with video, you know, whatever it takes uh, to get the job done, get hired, I want to stay on top of that. I want to be the person that people call. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. I don't want to be the person that ends up uh, becoming a real estate agent because they decided they did not want to stay on top of technology. All right, one last image. It's an image of my friend Cassandra. I'm just gonna pull this out, grab the marquee tool, and now I'm going to say I want this to be overlooking Italian village. Enter, see what happens. I know it's gonna be amazing, mind-blowing, and oh, I'm What? That looks like uh, it's overlooking a trash pile. But that, what? There, okay. Definitely up here, we have some issues. Yeah, maybe we'll still need retouchers for the time being to fix all the AI mistakes. The banister looks wonky here. But this is only gonna get better and better. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. I'm, I'm absolutely uh, blown away. I think, I think I need to think about I know, I know it's going to affect people that I care about. Yeah, let me know how it's going to affect you. Until then, uh, check out this video on the latest updates to Capture One. Okay, that's it.